Uh, my next guest and I first started appearing, uh, well, he started appearing in uh, clubs before I did. I used to go watch him to see how it was done. And uh, since then, he doesn't do just that. He's done television specials. Uh, he's done a couple of Broadway comedies, which he, writ wrote, which he writ. He also wrote them and starred in them, uh, like Don't Drink the Water and Play It Again, Sam. And uh, then he directed and acted in a few movies, the latest of which is Play It Again, Sam, which was from his play, of course. And he turns out pieces of humor for The New Yorker and has had a book published. Can't seem to decide what he wants to do. Will you welcome, please, Mr. Woody Allen. Again. <laughs> we light the sparkler. You almost lit the sparkler with that applause. <coughs> yeah, they're real sweet. How do you know? feel? <clears throat> I have a bad cold. Uh, <laughs> and uh, if you'll notice, I'm unshaven. I don't know if you can see that on the, the television screen, but I, I usually shave before I come on a television show, but I, I mistimed my shave yesterday and uh -huh. shaved last night because uh, I thought I was going to score. And. Uh, <laughs> when I was turning on the air conditioner right. in yeah. my hotel. He's, he plays tennis at night. He does. Could we get a close-up, maybe, of your beard? Yeah, would you, you like for them to? Close-up of my beard? Well, I, I don't think since you pointed it out, I thought many maybe people, people would, would really like to see what you really look like up close. Man, I, I have a good growth for a guy like me, you know? I really do. Yeah, you do. You could come up, you could grow a nice beard if you wanted. So you mistimed and now you're out of sync for shaving. I'm You'll out of be... sync. I couldn't shave today because my face is sensitive, so if I shave too close, to the last shave, um, <laughs> you know, I break out and look like a braille alphabet or something. <laughs> certainly, wouldn't, certainly wouldn't want that. I'm sorry to hear that you have a cold, not only because I'm sorry that you're uncomfortable, but because it always, when people have a cold, I always tend to pull away from them. I, I'm always sure I'm going to get it. And, uh, uh, you will. Um, you're going to get it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. First, you come out with a bad throat. You come out with a cold. Yeah, I have a terrible cold. Uh, I, I don't know how I got it, but uh, it's, you know, it's, it's on the wane now. I was really bad a few days ago. This is awful, terrible thing. You put Vicks in your nose, you know, and just, yeah. Do you, do you get um, uh, more colds than the average person, do you think? Uh, <clears throat> I get the, the exact same amount as the average person. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there is a, <laughs> well said, there isn't much you can do about it. You remember in science class, they taught us about the little soldiers in our bodies that go to work to fight the germs? Yes, that have a phagocytes. <laughs> that's, that's what they're called, right? That's putting a value judgment on them. <laughs> that's what it is, uh, white phagocytes and red phagocytes and, and, and corpuscles and the phagocytes uh, defeat or are defeated by the, uh, the corpuscles or, or the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, Basal metabolism. <laughs> yeah. Help me quickly. I didn't know you knew. That's amazing. That's you remember all. Oh yeah, I know a lot about that. Well, Raquel we... Welch showed us how it went all through your body, didn't she? In yes. In that picture a long time ago. Yeah. That's not... how we learned it, I think, not in science class. Fantastic voyage. Yes. The, the, the movie was full of phagocytes. <laughs> and Raquel. That's right. <laughs> this audience is really. They're good. Their hair trigger, you know. Yeah, they're, they're right there. They right really are. Yeah. We we must take a station break right now, so we can come back. Tomorrow night, Bill Cosby, George Meharis, and Dr. Emanuel Winternitz, who is curator of musical instruments at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Uh, and uh, from the Godfather actor, Richard Castellano will be here. He plays, uh, I didn't see it yet. Richard he Castellano. He plays uh, one of the Italians. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I, just, I, I wanted you to play some for everyone. Uh, Sorry, we, we talked about your cold. We've talked about. Do you know what's supposed to be a good method? An Irish actor was on the show one time, and he said, in all seriousness, that the well-known cure for a cold is to put. It's called the hat method, and uh, among among Irish actors, apparently, you put a hat on the foot of the bed and drink straight whiskey until you see two hats. Has, uh, have you heard this? Uh, yeah. No, li you know, liquor is bad for a cold. I think. I think it is. It's also it's bad for the throat too. If your throat is raw, oh, it's very bad for. Oh, liquor's bad. Yeah. Who is this? <laughs> it's the work of the devil. Is it, in fact? 
Did they... I don't know. Do I know? Was your family against? Uh, oh no, I think yeah. liquor is good. Actually, you're a big drinker. No. No. No, but I think liquor is good for some people when they're yeah. not driving. You know, yeah, I can I can't drink at all. I can I drink if I'm out on a date. This is really true, mm -hmm. and um, I want to impress the girl in some way. I have to drink because I feel like Mr. All American College Boy if I don't, you know. And really, I'm a little degenerate, and so. <laughs> I, it's hard to convey that to someone quickly. And um, so I, I'll find myself sitting with, with women and they drink, you know, they'll have wine or something. Mm -hmm. And I really can't, I can't handle liquor and I don't like the, the flavor of it. I and, feel and, the uh, same way. You know, I don't like the way it tastes, the way I feel, or the way you feel afterwards, so. But you feel like, like a fool, right, when it's You very feel like a fool. Right, I feel like you a fool. You don't need to feel like a fool. But when he, he's right, when they offer the drinks and you, you ask for a Shirley Temple or something, you feel so. Like, I think from Woody Allen, it would be wonderful to ask for a Shirley Temple. Yeah, I, I can't do that. Yeah, I can only do that on screen, you know, but in real life, you know, when I, when I have to actually be yourself. Be myself, and and it's do or die. And I and I, you know, uh, then I gotta order some booze and pretend that I like it. You know. Have you ever tried not doing it, seeing what would happen? Sometimes I I don't pretend that I like the booze, and I pretend I like the sex. <laughs> what about just liking the girl? Uh, <laughs> that's not a good so point. Good. That is yeah. actually. And then I mean, there's a the third choice there. No, the truth of the matter is, you just feel foolish when you're sitting there, and, and uh, this was true for a while with marijuana too. You know, they they um, they would proffer a reefer, and um, <laughs> you can tell I'm really into that because uh, <laughs> call them reefers or, or muggles. You know, what I used to call them. <laughs> that's a real. Is that an old term for that's them? That's an, an old word. I think it is. The musicians would know that. An old word for. Uh, <laughs> for uh, marijuana. Is muggles? It, muggles. Many years ago, yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the, years and years ago, I, I, uh, I, I think it was a, a great old Louis Armstrong tune called Muggles, a jazz tune that was um, about that. You know, not about that, but t titled from that. Yeah. And um, there were a lot of names for, for marijuana. And, and, you know, people would, uh, would offer it all the time. And, and you always, I always felt foolish being, being the mm -hmm. one to turn it down. You know what I mean? Because you always, always feel corny. You know, it, whenever you do something um, um, like don't drive fast or, or or don't drink or stuff like that. You always feel that it's a, some kind of lack of masculinity for some reason. Yeah, well, you and I have about the same lack of capacity for booze, I think. Uh, yeah, that's right. You're not a, he's not uh -huh. a drinker. You'd never tell oh, there are three non-drinkers here. <laughs> We're a lot of fun, aren't we? Yes, I think so. <laughs> let's, let's order tomato juice for the three of us and really wig out. 